you know, certainly, you know, if you look at the, the, the numbers for, you know, Trump and Clinton, there's a, you, there's a base of support there, right? Right. Um, that they're not going to fall below a certain number. Uh, probably, um, you know, you know, 40, I would say again, 40%. <clears throat> neither one of those candidates is going to fall below that because they, they have a solid base of support for Democrats and for Republicans. What we're seeing here is both Democrats, Republicans, and independents basically expressing their distaste for, uh, uh, for David Duke. And so on the national scale, you know, the, the parties tend to give their candidates the benefit of the doubt. You know, we see this not only with favorability ratings for the candidates, we see this with job approval ratings for the president, right? Democrats think that you know President Obama is doing a great job. Republicans think he's doing a terrible job, and his numbers, you know, even though uh, he was viewed as being unpopular, he never really fell below forty-five percent approval because Democrats stuck with him. But we're seeing here uh, Republicans in this state defect from David Duke, and that's why you see those, you know. Sure strong the very high unfavorable numbers uh absolutely so let me ask you a question uh and i'm going to just present something personal and that is that um you know i've written about david david duke uh i get press releases all the time from the republicans denouncing him and i'm glad that they're doing that um you just came out with a poll focused on david duke so you know, are, are we are we trying to give him all this free promotion? I mean, is that why y'all did this? No, we, you know, this was just something we talked about when he announced his candidacy, and I got uh, an email from my grad assistant. says, is it time for a Duke poll? And so we thought about it, and we came up, you know, with some questions. Um, you know, because we wanted to get a sense of what people thought about David Duke's candidacy today. Uh, you know, does, did he, you know, is he still relevant for today? Do, you know, people find him to be a, you know, a relevant candidate? And so for us, it's, it's an academic exercise. Sure. It's just research. <clears throat> right. Now, you know, it's not like we had an agenda or we wanted to go out there and, you know, make sure that, uh, you know, people felt this way or that way. You know, we put the question out there, and we collected the results, and this is, you know, what we got. So, um, so for us, it's 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 important. You know, it, you know, you, it, this is not someone that you can ignore. Um, that you know, his his ideas are odious, um, and you know, the fact that uh, you know, just given that fact, and the fact that. He puts, you know, Louisiana in a negative light. He, you know, he attracts all this attention, but for all the wrong reasons. This is someone who should be studied, we believe, right? That what is his base of support, if any? Um, and so that's why we did it. Yeah, and, and the result is basically telling David Duke, man, you got a long way to go if you expect to, you know, uh, get any kind of a, a real support in, in the upcoming election. Absolutely. I mean, he's at such a deficit. I mean, he's just so far underwater that it's hard to see uh, any prospects of success in the election. Sure. I mean, that's the bottom line. Right. And, and, and for me, in terms of media, that, I think, needs to get out there as much as uh, the uh, GOP saying that they don't like him or they don't want him. Right. You know? well, I mean, it would have been, I mean if, if the numbers would have been flipped... You know, and we would have presented the results, you know, and, you know, the results are what they are. 